A high school volleyball game is underway outside Atlanta. The play is intense, but friendly. Then a moment of utter horror. A senior suddenly collapses. You can actually hear the thud as she hits the hardwood floor. She lies there, lifeless, as everyone runs to her side. The teen is in full cardiac arrest. One coach performs CPR, but it's not working. It's looking grim for 17-year-old Claire Crawford. Then somebody rushes in with a defibrillator. There it is. It's in the black box. Sure enough, you can see Claire's body jolt from the electric charge. Julie Sermons is the quick-thinking school administrator who used the defibrillator. Life started to come back um, in her, and it was, it was wonderful to see. And this is Claire today. It's a miracle. Claire says she was feeling fine during the volleyball play. Just seconds before she passed out, the ball came her way, and she gives it a good whack. But then something goes wrong. She's in distress and clutches her heart, then collapses. Can you tell us what your symptoms were? I had pain down my left arm, and my heart felt like it was working really hard. But I just assumed I was out of shape. Claire's mom, Lisa, was in the stands watching the volleyball game. We were just desperately praying. It was four and a half minutes. I mean, it was a long time to watch them doing compressions, and definitely we thought we'd lost her. Here's a defibrillator similar to the one that saved Claire's life. Analyzing heart rhythm. So it tells you everything. Yes. Do it, not touch the patient. Step by step, it will tell you exactly what to do. If it says stand clear, don't touch. This is one team who is truly lucky to be alive. Claire, how are you feeling now? Feel good. Better than before. <laughs>